Imagine you've booked yourself a stay in a classy French chateau. Opulence, decadence, wigs, <laughs> face powder, drawn on little moles. Then you arrive, and this is your staff. Where we work? This is my job. Bitch, shut up. They're arguing. Welcome to the newest show in the Vanderpump multiverse, Vanderpump Villa, where Lisa Vanderpump of Vanderpump Rules asks the question, what if Below Deck met Bridgerton in a French chateau, but no one was French? Cause, I mean, if you asked some of these staff members anything in French, they'd probably respond like, Parlez-vous le français? So the idea behind Vanderpump Villa is that LVP over here has this French chateau, and where Vanderpump Rules focuses on her and her staff at her restaurant establishments, Vanderpump Villa follows the behind-the-scenes workings of the chateau staff as they come out to serve uber-rich guests like... Uplands! You own everything! Uplands! You earn everything. Except the only people here who are actually French are the chefs, which seems like a choice. I mean, if I paid a ton of money to come and spend a few days at a French chateau and drunk Dave Batista over here from Las Vegas came out and stole my shots. I'm gonna take this now. I need this right now. Yeah, cheers. Well, it wouldn't be long before I took one look around at this group and went, what the fuck is going on here? Cause for this kind of money, I want frickin' Lumiere serenading me while LeFou and Gaston over here bring me macaron after macaron after macaron so I can live my let them eat cake fantasy. But hey, it's TV and honestly that's what these guests are actually signing up for. An experience where you get to be served by drama mongers in front of cameras and watch it all firsthand. And the real core of this show is the staff, which yes, is almost entirely brought in from the states and and definitely curated for maximum drama. For example, we have Marciano over here. Allegedly, this man is the premier server in all of Las Vegas. And they also just so happen to have cast his ex-girlfriend. Wait, the guy in there? Yeah. He cheated on me, so I moved out. So you guys aren't together, but yeah. you Well, I, we like hooked up a month ago. Ah, uh-huh. Are they really expecting us to believe they just so happened to hire Marciano and his ex who he hooked up with a month ago on their merits alone? I mean, Marciano's about to see his ex show up, turn to the producers, and see them go... How'd that get in there? And as for the rest of the staff, well, like in any new workplace, the first thing they do is size each other up and ponder who they'll be hooking up with. Well, of course, except for Marciano, who's more concerned with getting back with Hannah and getting absolutely smashed on orientation day. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Apparently, this man doesn't realize he's no longer in Vegas as he pounds back drink after drink after drink, and when event coordinator Gabriella puts together a nice game like Truth or Drink, well... If you could cheat, and nobody would ever, ever find out, would you? I would never cheat on someone I respect. Wow. What a crock of shit. And here, people start to learn a lot more about this man than they thought they ever would. What was the best date you've ever been on? It's we with a girl a... that I'm sitting right next to me. Uh -huh. First date we ever went on. We went out to dinner. It was really nice. And then we went back and she gave me the best <laughs> of all time. Oh my god. What the But alright, at least at this point, none of the guests have shown up. Cause once the guests arrive, things are gonna get classy and professional, right? Right? Kelly, when do you want to take shots? After lunch? Yeah. <gasps> do you want to just do a shot of tequila right now? Honestly, yeah. Bro, you just dropped the first tray on the first day. It's time to stop. But it's not just Marciano. I mean, this whole cast is an absolute mess. 
Lisa says no drinking behind the bar, but like I really don't feel like that rule applies to me. So with the bartenders pounding back drinks and the lead server here pounding back shot after shot with the guests, it's not long before things get out of hand as bartender Andre goes for a break, bartender Telly goes off to find a wine key, and Marciano comes back to see the bar unattended with the guests still wanting drinks. Probably him too, he probably wants another drink too. So this leads to a blowout fight right in front of the guests. We're running her glasses. She should go grab the glasses She's herself. She's all day. I'm just being hey, real. What's your major? What's your GPA? What's I'm your getting all right, right. Getting all Not classy. Not classy at all. Day class A. French. Classy? Well, the next day, Lisa VP is not very pleased. Marciano, however, thinks it went pretty well. How do you think it went? Really well, actually. I think the guests were very pleased. Are you kidding me? And of course, this is reality TV, so the dude barely gets a slap on the wrist, and we're fed some excuse like, oh well, if we weren't 6,000 miles away, I'd probably send you home. And luckily for the staff, they finish this visit off with a secret proposal featuring this flute lady that actually kinda slaps. It's the proposal, the big marquee event. So, now, all I need is the star to support the vision. Well, Lisa and her husband Ken creepily watch on, and the guests just eat it all up, so that fighting thing is forgotten, and everyone gets to stay to start more stupid drama. And when I say stupid drama, I truly mean mind-numbing. Like, for example, there's the time Hannah sees Priscilla here lying down near Marciano, and thinks that she's opening up her legs spread eagle in front of him. I find Priscilla's spread eagle to be really offensive while I'm sitting in the middle of her and Marciano. I think it bothers me because him and I have a big history. I don't understand what's going on. Priscilla then sees Gabriella doing something similar and asks why Hannah didn't call her out, and so one of the stupidest fights ever ensues. I'm mad at you. No. Can we not do this, please? I've literally told you. You come in here yelling at me. Shut up. Shut up. Everyone upstairs thinks it's weird what you just did. We're all working So I'm just letting you know. And I mean, after another five minutes of this, after the dust finally settled, I was like... At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. We then have a sous chef that burns a croissant and has a fight with Marciano, so he puts the burnt croissant in her bed. And then there's Eric from Ohio, who is now suddenly a manager of a French chateau. But red alert, red alert, this man has the audacious idiocracy to decide to move the next guest breakfast from the terrace to under the trees, which is like, hello, are you daft? Do I even need to explain how wrong that is? Come on, if the guests have their breakfast under the tree, where on earth are they going to have their lilac lunch? For the love of God, tell me where, because is it back on the terrace where it isn't thematic? My goodness, it's like this man has never run a bespoke French luncheon event in his life. Ho 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 ho. And when Lisa finds out? I will never change a thing again. You don't ever have so to have So why are you having problem. the ball tonight? You, right outside under the trees. My god, not another event under the trees. The ball? In the garden. Oh, in, a, in the ballroom, of course. Oh, ballroom. good, I thought yes. you changed yes. it. So, if you're into reality TV trash painted like French Chateau class, and you also happen to have a wild amount of money on hand, a little vacation at Vanderpump Villa is for you. And if cash is short, I guess watching these bozos run around will have to do. And I promise I'll never do it again. That's it. Let's move on. Who are you have talking to? Myself. What? I'm not judging you. Yes. But people might think you're batshit crazy. Maybe. I'm a little crazy. In a good way. I'm good. I'm a good, good way crazy. So that's it for this video on Vanderpump Villa. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to give the video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content on the way soon. And until next time, Bachelor Fan Take out. Day Class A. French? Classic?